Hi everyone, welcome to Sticks and Stones Wood Carving. I'm Kevin, and today we're going to build upon the videos that we've been doing in the little series this week about patterns, and I'm going to show you how you can take one carving and make a 3D pattern for it. Okay, that way you're just not making one picture that's, uh, you know, just flat on a board. You can actually take a piece of wood, put your carving uh, patterns on the top, on the front, and on the side, and carve it in the round. Right. So if you think that's something you'd be interested in, I know we had some requests for it, come on in and watch the video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon, that way you can be notified for when we put out a new video, which we do each and every week. Let's have a look. Okay, first of all, you're going to need to get your camera out and get a subject. Here I have a little cardinal that I've carved. You can take a front picture, a side view shot. Okay, you want to take it from all sides. You're going to have to take a back view shot too, all right? So you're going to have to go around this carving from all sides and even take a top view if you need to. In this carving in particular, I'm not going to. Now remember, if you want to carve in the round and go all the way around the carving, it's not going to matter what subject material you have, but you are going to need some type of model if you want to make your own pattern, okay? doesn't matter what carvings I'm showing you here at the moment. We're going to do the cardinal, but just to give you an idea, the more photos that you can take of whatever the subject's going to be, the more you'll have to choose from to pick the best ones and then actually use those pictures to create your pattern. And then once you create your pattern, you have it forever. Now, if you just want to do a front and side view, of course, you're going to need a front shot, a side shot, and a side shot on the other side. And that's just for front and side view carvings, okay? So now that you understand that you're going to need a model, or uh, I don't care if it's from the dollar store or a carving that you made, pick up a little statue, right? Let's go back to our original project and get started. Okay, in the last video I showed you how to use Inkscape. So what I'm going to do is open up Inkscape and I'm going to import one of the first pictures of the cardinal that I took. I'll import that into the program. And we're going to make our pattern. All right. And like I said, when you open this program up in your first uh, enlarge your picture and get it ready for carving, the best thing to do is actually make it more transparent so you can see your lines. All right, so blow it up so you can see the lines nice and big. Go down and hit the opacity and take the opacity down just enough so when you get your Bezier tool over here, right, which is your tracing tool, you can trace the lines and see them. Don't be afraid to make, magnify it as big as you have to, all right? And you go around the carving and start making your, your lines. Now I'm just going to speed this up a little bit and... Uh, you guys will have to practice in Inkscape. Like I said, uh, it's going to take a lot for me to go through the whole program and show you step by step. So check out the tutorials on uh, YouTube. There's plenty of tutorials on Inkscape. But uh, the basic idea is to take each pattern or each photo and make a pattern using this program. Okay, and you practice with it. and You can put whatever kind of detail you want. Uh, make the best replica that you can with the skills that you have and you'll get better at it okay and do the side views do a front view and practice in inkscape do a back view and like i said even if you have to i, I never use patterns really to make these little birds myself uh this is this is a chainsaw cardinal so he's just you know like a, a quick card with a chainsaw so I'm not really, uh, for the purposes of this video, going to detail this pattern too much. I'm just showing you, you know, a basic idea. Because what you do is once you get all your patterns down, then you can apply them to the wood. And I'll quick make a couple of them and we'll show you on a, a little way, you know, one of the ways actually that you can just stick them on each side of the wood. And then you take your bandsaw and you cut out your pattern and you end up with something that's carvable from all sides, you know, to give you an idea of your dimensions and everything. So this is the best way I can tell you guys how to do it. Uh, not without some work on your part. Like I said, if you want to do 
carvings in the round, you're definitely going to have to learn how to make your own patterns. And you are going to need some kind of model. Like I said, I like to go to the craft shows, little dollar stores and stuff like that sometimes, get little figurines. You could take photos of them and carve them for practice. Once you have a couple of your own carvings and you want to make a pattern of it, I do that a lot with my carvings. Uh, especially if I do a really nice one, you know, I want to keep the carving. I want to make it again. You know, it was a good seller or whatever. I'll make a pattern out of it, you know, because I already have the model because it's there. But this is the only way that I can think of. Uh, I had a couple of questions on it and how to make 3D patterns and all the way around. Uh, somebody had asked me about their granddaughter, you know, doing maybe a granddaughter carving. And this is what you would do. You would take her photo from the front, take it from the side, you know, and then carve it. At least when you turn the block of wood on the side, you have the profile shot. Just make sure they stay still and then you walk around them. Let them look straight ahead or whatever in the photos that you're taking. And then you can go into Inkscape and you can do a little pattern of them. And there you go. You know, you put it on all sides of the wood, however many shots you take. And you get to carve it. All right. So that's how you're going to make a 3D pattern if you want to carve something in the round. All right. So I hope this video helps you. And until next time, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.